morning, everyone. Steve Georgie here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It is August 19th. Um, Want to start things off today talking about our our acreage or our yield survey that's going on right now, 25th annual. Uh, we need your help out there. I know in the past you guys have uh, gotten together, helped us out. You can go right online and uh, submit your yield estimates. Um, we know pro, pro farmers out there doing their tour. We actually cover more ground than them, so I want to give you guys a better idea uh, of, of, of really what kind of numbers we may see on these next reports. So uh, we need your help. Please feel free to, to get online and do that. Um, we're starting off a little lower today. Corn down two and three quarters cents. Beans down five and three quarters. Wheat down about three and three quarters cents. Um, good to excellent ratings had come out down 1% for corn. So it's 72% is where we're at right now. Beans actually increased 1%, maybe a little bit of a surprise, helping push uh, beans a little bit lower this morning. Uh, but beans sit at 71%. So very, very strong for beans. Wheat dropping back 2% at 68. Still very good. Uh, as we mentioned, the Pro Farmer Tour that's out, uh, going to be watched again today over social media. Uh, corn yields that they've come up with uh, in Ohio, a 182.11 bushel to the acre. Uh, last year they were at 171.64. USDA right now, from what they had released on this last report, uh, sits at a 177. So Pro Farmer, their numbers at a 182.11. Very, very strong. Uh, South Dakota, so in the west, smaller than their uh, smaller than last year, but still above the five-year average, uh, coming out at a, at a 152.71. Uh, USDA has South Dakota plugged in right now at a 139. So last year, though, Pro Farmer had them at a 161.75, so uh, still very good, above where USDA is at right now. So we'll see. I think the thing we need to take from this, uh, USDA sitting at a 167.4 uh, yield, uh, probably going to see that increase. I think everybody can agree that as of right now, that number might still be very light. So probably going to see that number increase. But social media is going to be watching that. We need your information out there to give you the most accurate data that we can. Uh, so uh, participate. Give us a call. We'd be glad to take those numbers. Looking at Weather Watch this morning. Uh, one to five days still wet uh, toward the north. Six to ten day, great rains uh, for everybody. The 11 to 15 day still looking at some rains as well, moderate rains across the Corn Belt. thing to take from these models now is just that we're going to see rain. Um, and that's, uh, if, if these rains do continue, we should end up seeing beans probably set back the most. Corn right now, we went up against this, this downtrend that we've had from the peak uh, just yesterday. So technically went right to that point and then sold off. Now we're back down below that 20-day moving average again as of this morning. So watch the close. A lot of these technical indicators turning lower right now for corn uh, and still more of in a sideways range right now for beans. So watch that here as we go uh, as we go throughout the day. As far as livestock, cattle up 20 cents. Box beef, though, working a little bit lower. Choice down 44. Select down 181. Uh, show list numbers about the same as last week, coming in uh, right about there, uh, right about the same numbers that we've seen last week. Um, not a major change, not like we've seen over the last few weeks. Uh, but still, we've got futures discount to cash at this time and uh, getting a little bit of a recovery. As far as hogs, up 95 cents. Still not a lot of news out there to really carry these hogs higher, but cutout values down again, down another 78, putting them at 111.02. Um, Looking for more of a short covering bounce right now, I think, is what we're getting just from being oversold and finding uh, finding a little bit of support. Uh, as far as the stock market, up 53, continuing its path higher. We've seen some strong days there. Uh, gold up 2 bucks, silver up $0.03 cents right now, and the dollar pretty strong this morning, up 21. So very strong out of the dollar. That may give a little pressure to commodities uh, here today if that can hold the strength. But feel free to give us a call if you guys have any questions. Reach us here at 800-262-7538 or check us out on the web at allendale-inc.com. Hope you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you again tomorrow morning.